In this video, I'm going to be talking about how to combine a vertical and horizontal vector. So just to do a quick recap of how to combine vectors in general, if you have a vertical vectors, if they're both pointing in the same direction, then you add them up. If they're in opposite directions, you subtract them. And then same thing with the horizontal ones. So if they're both pointing to the right or both pointing to the left, you're going to add them up. If they're pointing in opposite directions, you are going to subtract them. And then finally, when you want to find the magnitude of the resultant, you may have to add a vertical and horizontal vector. So what you would do is combine them in the tip to tail method. So you would grab one and at the end of the next vector, you would start the second one. And just like regular addition, adding vectors um, doesn't matter as far as the sequence. So if you started with the vertical vector and you went up first and then over next, that would be fine too. So let's go ahead and find the resultant vector, which is connecting the beginning of your first vector to the end of your second one, or however many you're combining, but in this case two. And we're gonna find the resultant, so we'll call that R. In order to do that, it's fairly easy. You're just gonna use Pythagorean theorem because we have a right triangle and we have two sides except the hypotenuse. So we're gonna use A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So we have a 10 squared plus seven squared equals c squared and i'll just call it r squared because it's our resultant so if we do that we basically just want to square root both sides and then we're taking the square root of 149 for our value so if we go ahead and take the square root of that and round it off we get about 12.21 meters Now, the second thing you may need to solve for is finding a direction. So we want to find the exact angle um, between um, these different vectors over here. And what you can do is you can use an inverse trig function and you could use any inverse trig function because you have every side of the triangle. But I'm going to go ahead and use the inverse of tangent because the tangent grabs the opposite end. So here is my opposite end. And then here's my adjacent end. The reason why I do that is because I'm taking my original vectors and not one of my answers. So um, I can't be 100% sure that my answer is correct, although I'm very confident about it. But taking the original vectors means that you are taking values that are basically guaranteed to be correct. So we have the opposite end, which is 7 meters, divided by our adjacent end, which is 10. And then our theta, our unknown angle, comes out to about... 34.99 degrees okay now you could call that 34.99 degrees um, above the horizontal or you could call it 34.99 north of north of east okay because this is directly east so then if you tilt it up this way towards the northern part then you have 34.99 degrees north of east so you might need to use that notation or add that detail to your angle as well so i hope that was helpful in helping you understand how to combine a horizontal and vertical vector in order to find the resultant and the angle thank you for